Today we're going to jump into some new updates with Google Docs. We're going to be talking about the drop down chips and table templates that have been released in the past week or so. If it's still not active on your account, you'll just need to wait for the rollout. It's usually about 10 to 14 days. So these are great tools that you can use in Google Docs to assign things. The chips we've known for a while, you can add specific people, but now they've add, added some additional options. So if I'm, gonna, if I'm in a blank Google Doc, we would just go to docs.new. That would open up a new Google Doc. When I click at drop down, you'll see that this pulls up this option here for drop down. When I click on drop down, I have a few different options. I have a project status and I have a review status. I can create my own personal drop downs if I would like. We're gonna go with the templates that have already been put in place here. So when I click on project status, you'll see that this new option here pulls over and it has my drop down option. So when I click on project status, I can then jump between any of these chips as we're calling them and as Google is calling them. I can actually edit these options here. I can change the color. I can change the name of that individual project status depending on what you use in your school or your company. And I can add new options here. Maybe we were doing invoices and an invoice needed to be paid or something like that. When I save that, this is now an option in that first drop down. The next option that you have, I click drop down is review status. So when I click on review status, this is a status of something that's happening, right? Maybe it's an IEP notes, maybe that's um, business notes, maybe it's invoices, whatever it is at your company or business, same options here. We have the option to change these, but then we can add or edit new options and change colors for these individual drop down options. The other thing that they've added with these chips is the ability to put in templated tables. So when we come up here and we go to insert, drop down to table, we go over to table templates. When we click on this carrot here, we have four options now, a product roadmap, review tracker, project assets, launch content tracker, and you can actually create your own template outside of these and add this. So we're just gonna drop down each one to show you what they look like. Again, we can go to insert, table, table templates, review tracker, Tracker, insert, and we'll kind of talk about each one of these. Content tracker. So these are all customizable. You can go back and change any one of these. If we were looking at a project, this is where you would at somebody, uh, at myself, haven't started, related files. You could add a Google Doc here. Uh, if you want to add a document in here, you can also add meeting notes, um, email drafts. There's a lot of different things that you can do with the, the chip. So we're talking about these new additions here. So the reviewer here, this is again where we'd want to put specific people. Uh, in these and as they go through they can actually update the status of this project so this would be great for team building you could use this with students as they're working through um, you know um, projects they're working on together collaborating through file right this is where we would add a file a description of that file hasn't started this is where we would put in a link of a document um, I don't have a lot of documents in this file um, so we would just use status updates here we could drop the description in there and then whoever takes it to the next step, right? In your workflow can change this. And so everybody can see what's happening. And I can see this as a cover page and everybody's going in and updating different things. Um, again, the other option here that we have down here is a type description, publish date. Um, this could be a blog post. This could be a social media post. There's a lot of different ways that you could use this. Um, and, and link to that content here. Maybe it's a blog post, maybe you're working through a website or different things like that. Um, but who's publishing it, when the publish date was, and you could see all of these if you're working in a larger workflow and collaboration uh, with schools, different things. I could see that in more of a social media slash website side of thing. Businesses, obviously, there's a lot of applications. This Most likely if you're here, it's because you're an educator. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. And thank you for what you do for kids on a daily basis. If this video saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your teacher friends. You can subscribe by clicking up here, or you can watch another video either here or here. Again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.